So in case you guys didn't already know, the next World Expo, which takes place every five years, is happening in 2025 and just so happens to be held in Osaka, Japan, which also just happens to be the world's leader in robotics. Of course, we know with highly competitive research, development, and applied technologies, the FANA Corporation, for instance, which we know is the largest robotic company in the world in terms of market cap valuations, sitting around 32 billion US dollars. Then, not to mention Kawasaki Robotics, Toshiba, Epson Robots, Toyota, Hitachi, Sony, Denso, Motoman, and Mitsubishi. Then, of course, the mad scientist himself and Erika, Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro, who has also already stated that he will have a pavilion set up at Expo 2025. But I'm going to tell you guys, what I'm really looking forward to is seeing what Boston Dynamics is going to show off in 2025. Because just speculating, but could 2025 be the year we see a new humanoid robot unveiled from Boston Dynamics to topple and outshine Atlas? who we already know is undoubtedly the most agile humanoid robot in the world. I mean, come on, name me another robot out there who's doing backflips, dancing, and parkour. I can't think of another. But so, not just because the World Expo is all about showcasing all the nations around the world coming together, to show off and showcase new innovation, technology, and achievements. But I'm thinking Boston Dynamics is going to really want to show up in 2025. And I mean, not wanting to spread any rumors, and 2025 is still two years away, but as we know, they have been around, bought out a few times, and been around those slippery humanoid robots. Okay, clearly, you can see clearly, I'm just looking for any kind of content at this point. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, as we know, Boston Dynamics, once a startup company, was bought by Google's parent company, Alphabet, in 2014. Then a few years later, lost interest in robotics, then sold them to the SoftBank Group in 2017, which is a Japanese investment holdings company located in Tokyo. However, in 2020, due to budget cuts, they sold Boston Dynamics to the South Korean car manufacturer Hyundai Motors. Yup, if you didn't know that, Boston Dynamics has been around and they are currently owned by South Korean car manufacturer Hyundai Motors. But at the same time, I'm sure it's just business. But it is the World Expo 2025 and it is a time to show up and showcase. But regardless, I'm looking forward to all the innovation and every nation coming together for Expo 2025. And if Boston Dynamics and Atlas Robot were the probably hands down coolest, most agile humanoid robot out there, we wouldn't even be making this video. Brain time. Congratulations. You made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. If you ever watched the movie Alita Battle Angel or played the game Cyberpunk 2077, then I'm sure at some point in time, you had a fascination with cyborg robots. I mean, sure, we talk a lot about human-like humanoid robots on this channel all the time, but there's a difference between cyborg robots and humanoid robots. A humanoid robot, 
of course, has a human-like appearance, like our fully functioning love bots. Of course, we know our female robots, while a cyborg is actually a human, but a human outfitted with mechanical body parts or implants, such as artificial organs, heart valves, or artificial limbs. Well, in the case of today's video, robotic arms, the Jizai arms. And with all that being said, meet the Jizai arms. Similar to something straight out of Marvel Comics mimicking Dr. Octopus and his robotic tentacles. However, unfortunately, these robotic limbs aren't made from supernatural nanotechnology and controlled telepathically through telekinesis. But nonetheless, still very impressive. The Jizai arms are a robotic limb system consisting of a wearable base unit with six terminals and detachable robot arms. The Jizai company says the system was designed to enable social interaction between multiple wearers, such as an exchange of arms, and to explore possible interactions between digital cyborgs in a cyborg society. Fun fact. Did you know there are people out there that believe that human society as a whole is a cyborg? A person could even be called a cyborg when they are, for instance, using specific wearable technologies like Google Glasses or even using laptops or mobile devices to do various work. So in turn, being a cyborg means to realize that technology defines humanity. Human society as a whole is a cyborg, but as an individual, we rarely see ourselves this way. So if you look at it like that, then rather than ask the question and refer to the future, we could say not so long ago, we were asking ourselves whether we were heading towards a future where the human race would eventually merge with machines. 2050 when artificial intelligent humanoid robots will walk among us? Well, this question is outdated. And one proof of that are these cyborgs. A cyborg or a cybernetic organism in IT is defined as an organism with both biological and technological components. It is an organism that has restored function or enhanced abilities due to the integration of some artificial components or technology that relies on some sort of feedback. So we could easily say that superheroes that we know from fairy tales and movies are actually real. Superhuman strength, dexterity, and senses are no longer science fiction. They are already here and reality. The only true next step would be telekinesis. So depending on how you look at it, it's actually very interesting to look at the world through the eyes of a cyborg. But again, depending on how you look at it, we are already living in a cyborg society. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you enjoyed this one and you want to watch more videos like it, make sure you check out all my other videos. And if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Till next time, catch you in the next one. Oh, my God.